That didn't take long. Good night. Hey folks, welcome back to 3 Pound Fishing and today we're doing a walkthrough of the new 198 Low Boat. Folks, I'm super stoked about this boat and it being part of 3 Pound Fishing. And let me tell you, Low Boats has been fantastic. I cannot recommend this boat enough. Check it out and we're going to do a full walkthrough. And we're going to put some slabs in the boat. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get the slabs in the boat. Three pound fishing. If your passion is crappie fishing, you found your home. Sponsored by these great companies. Fish right there. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. We're fishing the spawn and the spawn is good. Anytime you can hit some docks and some riprap, you're gonna get some of those. Now I can tell you, today is the maiden voyage in the new boat. I'm totally stoked and we're very early in the morning right now, roughly around six o'clock. Uh, I'm always amazed at how light it is out at six o'clock in the morning. But this is the maiden voyage and today we're fishing the spawn in the brand new boat. And I'm gonna show you around the new boat today. That is the goal. This will be the walkthrough. Using live scope today, primarily on these docks right here. Boy, you can see fish just outside the docks. So if it seems like I'm a little farther away from you, I am, because that's the two feet that you get with the low 198. Um, just a massive deck here. We do have some more toys that are gonna be put on this boat. Some additional hummingbird items. There's another one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a big fish. This is a big one. Oh, baby. Yeah, so we're gonna be adding a lot more hummingbird electronics here in the next two weeks on this boat, but this is the maiden voyage for the 198, and I'm stoked. I'm gonna show you all around this today. We're gonna to have a beautiful day. We've got water temperature, 64 degrees. Temperature's gonna be at 75, bluebird day, so we're gonna catch these quick today before that sun gets straight up in the air. All right, folks, those that have been with three pound fishing for a while know that I've been in a low 178. It's been a fantastic boat and I would not trade it for anything, but I had an upgrade and I wanted some extra space and I got it at Wren Lake Marina located in Benton, Illinois. Here's a phone number, check them out. They are great people and they definitely know how to talk the 178, 198 story. And at the end of the day, the low story, it's just a great, balance between cost and quality that I think everyone should appreciate. No, that's a crappie. Not a bad crappie at all either. Oh, that's a good fish, folks. All right, with that, that's a good little, good little eater. They get smaller and smaller as they get in the boat. It's kind of funny. I'm going to let that guy go. Let's do a walk around on the new boat. It's been a great day. Good start of the day. Still got some, quite a, a lot of fishing to do. And uh, it's just fantastic. All right, for those that know, have been watching Three Pound Fishing, you know that I have a 178, had a 178, and I've traded up for a 198. And basically what that does is that gives me two extra feet in the length okay and most of that coming on the front deck of the boat this thing is massive an enormous amount of space i i can't even begin to tell you how much space it is i'm not quite sure if the boat gets wider or not but it definitely feels like it does and i'll verify that with a little text on the uh, screen here right now so let's just start off with the front deck we've got two huge sto three huge storage areas right here right off the bat um <sighs> show you guys close up to these big storage area I mean I can literally lay in this storage area right here here just again a massive storage area that I am actually using there's nothing in this yet because I don't know what to put in it and then we have some bait trays up here right here and right here I'm keeping right now my hooks my basic stuff for any type of float fishing that I would want then on this side over here we have another one that I'm using for basically any type of plastics, jig heads, that type of thing, they're all in here. 
on this guy. So nicely convenient to where I'm sitting up here anytime I need to change baits around or not. Definitely one of the great things about this boat too is that it's just got ample storage room for uh, fishing rods. So not only can you put them on the left, and you can put them on the right. There's some straps, tie downs for your fishing rods here. But you've got this huge center storage area for them. So one of the things I looked for in terms of a new boat was room for fishing rods. And this boat has tons. This locker right here will store 10 rods, more than enough. But not only that, the deck can serve up to maybe five, six, as many as you truly wanted. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So I've got almost every rod in the boat that I would ever possibly need in there. And I'm only keeping maybe two or three outside on the deck that just frees it up from clutter. And I just think that's, that's awesome. You also got a handy dandy little storage area right here. Not quite sure what I'll put in that yet. The other thing is the quality on the 198 has gotten, definitely raised it to another level. These, these clasps that tie down all these, these storage bins are now made of metal and they really snap in place really well. I also have a new console for the driver. New seating, which I think is, it's very comfortable. It's a little different to get used to, I guess, but uh, it sits a little bit more upright. It definitely feels better, it's more comfortable. You sit up about four inches higher. And the reason why is because the tank is actually stored below these two seats, it's a massive tank. Because of that, you get to sit up a little bit higher which makes it actually easier to get up and down. A huge live well. Those are the fish we've caught so far today. And then, you, you know, your console. Now, obviously the big thing for me on my new boat is the, is the power poles and the 115, a bigger motor. I elected to put the power switches for the power poles right here. And then I also have selected to put the uh, handheld ones right here. Where are they? So that's gonna be really neat. Anytime I'm in water of 10 foot or less, I can use the power poles right back here. So in the back of the boat, let's go through it. Very similar to the other one. You've got a storage bin. I use one of them for food. I have another one for extra baits, tackle, that type of thing right here course the big live well and then I elected to add an additional battery to the boat the boat comes with three I believe and so I've added a total of four so here's a look at it man the 198 is just an awesome boat it's big but yet it's still comfortable and that's what I love about it ample storage but the deck size on a 198 is just plain massive. And it definitely brings in the slab. So let's talk a little bit about the extras that I have on the boat that you don't necessarily, necessarily hear about. Cornfield Crappie Gear, without a doubt, has got the mounts for you. And I'm gonna talk about that here shortly. So pay attention because these mounts are sturdy. They can take anything and give them a call if you have an interest in mounts. So. So another thing is to have great mounts, cornfield crappie gear. Again, I've talked to them about them a lot, but it's just because I'm very impressed with them. Here's a look at the double mount that they put on my boat. Now currently I have the Helix 9 and the Garmin 10 inch up front. Garmin 10 inches up on top of the 9. Of course we have the Ultrex. It's a game changer. Check out this video link right here above that is all about the Ultrex. Fantastic. If you don't have spot lock, folks, I mean, you're missing a lot. That's a fold up chair, but you can also fold it down so you can step through. Rip rap. 
Focusing on some riprap. We're gonna get some slabs, big time slabs. That's a good fish right there. The 115 Mercury XS. And as far as I can tell right now, it does move the boat faster. So we've gotten it up to about 50 miles an hour. In comparison, the last boat could only go as fast as 40. 40 was top speed. Today I'm using my standard little split shot. Got a, a slip float bead, my two and a half inch Kamel slip float right here with a, a bead here that helps it stay with un, underneath that, uh, that little slip float. A number seven split shot. And then I'm actually using a number two today. I talked about that, how I was gonna maybe switch it over for a little while. And I'm trying it out today. Hey, so that's my boat. It doesn't get much better than this. I'm totally excited. Uh, you know, we're going to end up wrapping this boat and really turning it into a tournament style boat, but I love it. Two cup holders, tie downs for the poles, ample storage. Um, the room up here is unbelievable how much room I have. I just couldn't be happier with a 198 low. Check them out. Well, there you have it, folks. That's my 198, and man, do I think it's huge. But I also think it's number one in the industry. And you know what? It puts slabs in the boat, so let's get back to fishing. Now, if I made you interested in a 198 low, contact my friends at Rin Lake Marina, and they will hook you up.